that's a legit it's a legit camera bro oh my gosh bro this is actually unbelievable bro. this is one reason why i also don't even trust like airbnbs hotels any new place that's got remodeled just because this reason mom finds hidden camera in 16 year old daughter's bathroom placed there by her stepfather Oh, stepfather is crazy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys don't want to play that stepfather role, but you got guys like this that want to play a stepfather role and mess with the other father's children? That's OD. If you agree with me on that, drop a like right now. We finna tune into this. Imagine, bro. Imagine you taking a shower. You taking a shower. You don't, you don't know how long. Maybe you have that feeling like something's watching you, but maybe not. And then you look up. And there's a camera pointing directly on you from the top, bro. Could y'all imagine that? Hey, yo, we finna tune in right now. Let me know your thoughts down below. This is sick. sick. Do me a favor, scroll back down and drop a like on this video so we can push this out. Y'all need to be careful too. You, you know what I'm saying? About these stepfathers and Airbnbs, hotels, you never know. I mean, the camera could be as small as like this, bro. You know what I'm saying? So y'all need to make sure y'all check and be careful and be safe because there's a lot of creeps out in this world and we finna see it firsthand. This is crazy. Mom finds hidden camera in 16 year old daughter's bathroom placed there by stepfather, allegedly. Come on, let's see, bro. That's a legit, it's a legit camera, bro. Like, first of all, why is there a light above the shower anyway? I just realized that. Why would there be a camera above the shower you feel me all that steam and stuff like usually that would be out the shower so this is perfect wow this is crazy already got the kid y'all in the back wait when you've been with a man 14 years and you find out he's been watching your 16 year old take showers for 14 years so that means when the baby was two he came into the picture. So this whole time, oh, this is sick, bro. This is sick. The fact that it easily just comes out like that is insane. Oh my gosh. Bro, then taped up a camera the whole time. A lot of people are asking how I found it. I went and did a live, like, I don't want to talk about this a lot in front of my kids because they already know it happened, but I don't want That's to sad, bro. Boiling. Or... You can tell she's stressed. She's in the car smoking a cigarette, bro. That's stress. Whatever. She's stressed. So my bathroom I take a shower in has a barn door. It's a sliding door. My two-year-old can get out of that bathroom. My kids were at school. My, I was sweaty and wanted to take a shower, so I went to my daughter's bathroom to take a shower. My husband does construction. He Ooh. just remodeled that bathroom two months ago. It's actually- So, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro does construction. There's a lot of remodeling. You Any other houses that he's probably been to, you think there might be a camera in there? Oh, nah. Oh, nah. He's not all the way done yet. He didn't put up the shower door yet. But anyways, that light worked before he did the remodel. When I was in the shower, that light wouldn't, that did, light didn't come on when I come in the bathroom. So I was like, oh, let me go get a bulb, you know, and put it in there. And I looked up there because some of our light bulbs have the size of a your pinky finger. It's the light bulb size. And some of them is regular bulb sizes. I, I don't know, but I've never seen like a, a light above the shower. Like I've been in all types of like B&Bs and homes and there's never like a light above the shower. So bro put that there purposely, unless they already had that there. Obviously you put it there purposely, but I'm just saying, like, isn't that a little odd? You don't find out a little bit of odd right above you, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. So I looked up in there to see, and I couldn't see without the flashlight. I left out a part because my mind is can't think straight. I went to that bathroom that I never used because my bathroom's a barn door and my two-year-old can get out, run around, get hurt. That bathroom that I went to, he can't open the door. I set him down in the corner, gave him a phone, let him watch his phone while I was trying to take a shower. When I got out, Good him. So they also have another kid. Yo, bro, ayo. Yo, 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 husband, whatever, is sick. 100%. This light ain't working. Looked up. Looked to see what size bulb it needs because it worked two months ago when he remodeled. Now it's not working. 
I looked up there to see what kind of bulb I needed. So it already was I there. The lens of the camera. Then I took my phone, put it on video, recorded it, got this. I ran immediately out of the house with my two-year-old, jumped in my car, drove about five, ten miles away, like a 20-minute drive, called the police, did a police report. Oh, yeah, he's done. He's done. <laughs> Cops going to pull up. Oh, what do you do for a living? Construction? I need to know every house that you remodeled. That's sick, bro. How, how could you just sit there and watch somebody take a shower? How sick do you got to be? All the sites that's out there, you feel me? We grown here. You know what I'm saying? But you would, die. you know how, how, how sick in the head mentally you'd have to be to be having a camera on while they're taking a shower? And the fact that they're under, oh my God. And you've been watching over these kids since they was two years old, bro? Sick. Police came, met me where I was. Later on, I met up with the detectives at my house. They came to search looking for electronics to try to get more evidence. We didn't find none. I guess he had them with him and his work truck or whatever. And his work truck. So um, he'd be doing it at every single house, bro. Of clothes. Uh, they advised me that I should leave while they're investigating and oh, that's sick, went through bro. DHS, got something where he can't see them right now. And Sheesh. that's where I'm at right now. Just waiting for evidence because they said it's hard to press charges on these cases. And they said that Ow. that's kind of like a live recording. So he would have had to rec So that means, wait, 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 wait. So it's like a, a ring doorbell, basically. You know what I'm saying? Because we got one of those. And you can see the live recording. You can hear. You can talk back. If you can communicate through it. So, bro, sick. It's a live recording. It's not pre-saved recordings. It's a live recording. And then if it's a motion detective, detected one, you know what I'm saying? That means as soon as someone gets near the location or in front of the camera, it's going to go off. So, bro knows immediately, oh, someone's in the shower. Let me go ahead and tune in. Sick, bro. And I, I don't even want to think about what he's doing when he's watching them live, bro, in the shower. That's nasty. I don't even want to think about it. Record a video and actually save it and then find it to be more evidence, but they don't know until they interview him. They called him to set up an interview. He told him he would meet him at 6 p.m. They called me at 6.15. They said he didn't show up. And they said that he told them he would meet them the next morning. And they didn't never call me to let me know if he did. I'm assuming he didn't since they didn't call me. And I did call them Sheesh. while the detective was at my house. And I asked him about it. And he admitted so bro, to putting it in there. But said he was just trying to see if the camera worked because he found it at work. I'm tired of the lies, man. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting tired of the lies when it comes to, like, when I, when I watch videos like this, bro. Y'all like when I react to stuff like this because I'd be re overacting and everything. But this is how I genuinely am. Like, bro just said, you said what? Let's play that back. Let's play that back. I don't know if I, did, if I heard that right or am I tweaking. There, I did call them while the detective was at my house, and I asked him about it, and he admitted to putting it in there, but said he was just trying to see if the camera worked because he found it at work. Trying to see if the camera worked because he found it at work. So you couldn't put it on the front porch. You couldn't put it in a window where a camera's supposed to be for the safety. Watch, you know, in front of your house, your privacy. But you, you too much tuned in on someone else's privacy. You see, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's sick, my dude. That's sick, bro. That's sick. And he just wanted to see if it worked, but he he wouldn't explain why he put it in the shower. So okay. I mean. <laughs> is there really even come on now you feel me i know you're going through some stuff right now but let's let's use our brains here what, what other reason why do you think you'd put it in the shower right above where you take a shower at like right above right above looking at you taking a shower that's sick 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 bro i hate to say it i know i keep saying it over and over but y'all have to put yourself in a position imagine being in an airbnb do it you know say when people go to airbnbs they tend to get fun, you know, get get active, have fun, you know what I'm saying? Do some stuff that you feel me? A lot of people in these Airbnbs are watching. Watching. Like I said, you can have a camera up to this, like, I mean, this small, bro. And you wouldn't be able to know. You're not going to go through the Airbnb looking at every little crack and corner of the house. Sick.
course, common sense. Could have put the camera anywhere. You put it in the. Uh, okay. Okay. Common sense, obviously. Okay. She. Okay. I should let her talk. That's all me. That's all me. I'll take the fault. Showers because you want to see what's in the shower. That's my 16 year old's bathroom, and nobody else uses that bathroom. Peace, dude. That's that's just sick, bro. That's just sick, bro. Technically, what did that like be? I mean, you had hold on, hold on, hold on. I just realized, like, once you're in, you know, saying yo 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 stepchild's life for more than ten five years, that's technically like you've accepted the fact that that's your child, right? Okay, I mean, hold on, I gotta speak some, hold on, RJ Squad, you know we finna be cooking, I got some, I got some stuff to say, you know what I'm saying, so if you, if you look, if you was, like I said, being in that kid's life for more than 10, 5 years, 5 to 10 years, then you accepted the fact that that's basically like your kid, because at a point in time, you felt a connection that's like, it feels like it's your kid, you're taking care of them to the point where it feels like it's and your she kid. she was 2 years old, now she's 16, how long, okay, she did say the camera just got put in there, just remodeled a few weeks ago. So that means how long have you been looking at her like that? In a way where you're actually like having to look at her, bro. You're sick. If you ever come across this video, any people that do some type of stuff like this come across this video, you're sick. And I want you to know that. If you even have a thought of doing that to somebody, you're sick and you need to get help immediately. <laughs> Go to Google right now, I need help.com because you need it. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Hey, saucy, flossy. I can't get none of them off me. You wanna know how to 